Good morning. So today's class we are going to discuss multi-core programming concept. What is multi-core? Okay. Multi-core is the system designed to place multiple processing units on one chip. This is called as the multi-core system. Okay. So multi-core is the system designed to place multiple processing units on one chip. Each core can independently execute a task. This design, this multi-core design improve performance by enabling the multiple tasks to run simultaneously on different core. Okay, now we are going to see three different terminology. One is the concurrency, another one is the parallelism, the last one is the CPU scheduling. What do you mean by concurrency? See, in concurrency, multiple tasks make progress by sharing the same resources for example single cpu okay what is parallelism multiple tasks run at the same time on separate resources example multiple cpu core okay last one what do you mean by cpu scheduling right the cpu scheduling the cpu switches between the tasks quickly so they all seem to run together only one task run at a time but all the tasks make progress this create the appearance of task running simultaneously then what is the difference between concurrent execution and parallel execution see the concurrent execution means a single cpu core okay a single cpu core switches between the task okay here a single core is there Okay, how many tasks are there? T1, T2, T3, T4. Okay, see, on a single core, CPU tasks are executed one at a time. Okay, the tasks are executed one at a time, but make progress by sharing the CPU. See the parallel execution. Parallel execution means what? A multiple core, a multiple CPU core run task simultaneously. Here there are two core, core 1, core 2. Core 1 run task T1, task T3. Core 2 run task T2, task T4. Okay. So parallel execution means multiple CPU core run task simultaneously. Okay. What do you mean by parallelism, right? The parallelism is related to the application. The tasks are divided into smaller subtasks that are processed simultaneously or parallel. This is called as the parallelism. There are two different types of parallelism we are going to discuss. One is the data parallelism. Another one is the task parallelism. What do you mean by data parallelism? Okay, data parallelism means what? You split the same data into smaller parts. Okay, same data into smaller parts and perform same task on each part at the same time. Okay, see in data parallelism, see the same operations are performing on each core. Okay, same operation. Core 0, Core 1, Core 2, Core 3, all are performing the same operation. What do you mean by task parallelism? Task parallelism is nothing but you split the same, you split different tasks across core. Each task may do something different. Okay. See here the example handling multiple website requests where each request does a different things. This is the example of task parallelism. Okay. Thank you.